वेलकम टू माई टेलेक्टो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस कार्डिक साइकिल बिफोर वी स्टार्ट यू शुड नो अबाउट डायस्टोल एंड सिस्टोल सिस्टोल मीन्स वेन दी कार्डिक मसल्स आर इन कॉन्ट्रैक्ट स्टेट दैन इट इज कॉल्ड सिस्टोल एंड वेन दी कार्डिक मसल्स आर इन रिलैक्स स्टेट दैन इट इज कॉल्ड डायस्टोल एक्चुअली देर आर टू फेसिस वन for atria and one for ventricle one time atrial systole and one time atrial diastole and similarly one time ventricular ventricular systole and one time ventricular diastole occurs here you can see this is the cardiac cycle in which this inner circle is for the atria and outer circle is for the ventricle this portion is for the atrial systole and this larger portion is for the atrial diastole this portion is for the ventricular diastole and this portion is for the ventricular systole here you can see this is the structure of the heart having two atria and two ventricle actually this is the relaxed state of the heart now we compare this state with the cycle actually uh, ventricular atria are in relax the portion will be from here this one and it will and will here so this portion is for the atrial diastole and this portion outer portion is here from this one this outer portion is for the ventricular diastole and it is start from zero second and it will take 0.4 second it means heart atria and ventricle are in diastole state for 0.4 second and after that blood will move into the atria this is the from the superior vena cava this is from the inferior vena cava and it fall into the right atrium and from the pulmonary veins it carry blood and drain into the atrium so now both the atria will fill up and now it's time when the both the atria contract and blood will move into the ventricle so contraction of the atria is called atrial systole and this will show this will be shown by the this portion this portion will be atrial systole and it will take 0.1 second but in keep remember in that situation the ventricle is still in relaxed state which is shown by this area this is the area at which the ventricle remain in relaxed state only the atria contract and after that blood will move into the ventricle so it means now ventricular ventricle contract and blood will move into the pulmonary trunk and this from the right side blood will move into the pulmonary trunk and from the left side blood will move into the aorta so for one terms which you have to remember isovolemic or you can say iso metric contraction what is mean by isovolemic or isometric contraction iso means same volemic mean volume same volume contraction mean contraction it means it, it is this situation when the ventricle contract but the volume of the blood in the ventricle 
do not change. So this condition is called isovolemic isometric contraction. And after that, there is an other phase which is called ejection phase, which is called ejection. It has two phases, rapid phase and slow phase. It means first ventricle contract rapidly and blood will move from ventricle into pulmonary trunk or aorta. And in this second phase, here some blood present in the ventricle. And in the second phase, which is the slow phase, in which the uh, ventricle again contracts and the blood will move into the pulmonary trunk and the aorta. But keep remember, some amount of the blood will remain in the thing, into the ventricle. So if we show on the cardiac cycle, then this portion will be the ventricular systole. And one thing, in that situation, what will happen to the atria? Atria will remain in the relaxed state during the ventricular systole. This period will be 0 0.3 second. And this, after that, this state occurs in the heart which is called isovolemic or isometric relaxation. Station. What is isovolemic or relaxation? Isovolemic relaxation is actually uh, the volume of the ventricle will remain the same and but the relaxation will start in the ventricle so this is called isovolemic relaxation in which the ventricle will move toward the relaxation but the volume will remain the same and after that heart will move toward complete relaxation phase in which the both atria and ventricle are relaxed. Again, this is the period which is which takes 0.4 seconds. And again, atrial systole which takes 0.1 seconds. And again, ventricular systole which takes 0.3 seconds. So our 0 0.4, 0 0.1, 0 0.3 will form 0.8 seconds. So normally we consider three phases in which the at atria contract and second one is the when the ventricular ventricle contract and third one is the phase when both ventricle and atria are in relaxed state. We form three phase atrial systole, ventricular systole. And the third phase is ventricular diastole or you can say atrial diastole. So we consider three phases. So this is all about the cardiac cycle. So if you have any question, you may ask in the comment section. Thank you.